Oh shit. <laughs> Boys, we got every fucking account in RuneScape here now. Fucking samurai's fucking woodcutting wood alt. alt. Hello guys, my name is Samurai PR. Welcome to the third episode of the multi-login series. Today, let's talk about organizing Runelite client windows in different ways to make handling multiple accounts more efficient. Some people might believe that once they cannot fit more clients in their display, they will need to either stack them, use another computer or even buy multiple monitors. By stacking clients, you can switch between them, but if your activity is not AFK enough or if you have too many of them, it will become hard to keep up and track the accounts properly. By using another computer, you will have to switch across different input devices unless you have a KVM switch. And by using multiple monitor setup, depending on their distance, you might eventually feel more tired in the eyes and your neck as you will be switching focus across them very often depending on your activity. I'm gonna discuss ways to replace or improve what I just described. First, let's talk about a better way to switch between stack clients. On Windows, the most used shortcut to switch across multiple programs is done by using Alt Tab. However, for multi-login, this can be slow and it does not follow a sequential order. Luckily, there is another way to switch, and that is using the Alt Escape keys. By using Alt Escape, you will go back to the previous window instantly. You can also use Alt Shift Escape to go to the opposite direction. This is very efficient, as you don't need to move the mouse as often, and you will not feel as tired when working on similar tasks. However, I warned that you should avoid being too fast and find ways to click on different spots. This is because apparently some people have been banned by using this and I suspect that is something to do with the sheet detection system. So be very careful when using the Alt Escape method. We can do something similar to Alt Escape using virtual desktops in Windows 10. To manage your desktops, you can press Start tab you will be able to see the current desktops open and a button to add new ones. However, if you want to be efficient, you should learn the following shortcuts. To create a new desktop without going into the Virtual Desktop Manager, you can press Ctrl Start D. You will instantly be in the new desktop. To go back to the previous desktop, you can just press Ctrl Start left arrow and to go forward to the new one again you can press ctrl start right arrow you can open as many virtual desktops as your pc can handle and in my case i could open 80 empty ones before crashing to close a virtual desktop you can use ctrl start f4 this also helps if your virtual desktop manager crashes and you are not able to use it like I said, we can use virtual desktops as an alternative of Alt Escape with the bonus that we can have more than one client per desktop in the form of a grid. If we want to keep an eye on one or more clients, we can show one or more of them across all desktops by going into the virtual desktop manager using Start tab and right clicking on the client then clicking show this window on all desktops. This is also a good idea to watch YouTube or work on any other programs. Now that we can switch across different desktops with multiple windows, I will show you a software that we need to organize our client in an efficient manner. There are multiple softwares that allows you to do this, but I use one that is free. It's called WindowGrid from windowgrid.net. After you install it and run it, you can find it in the taskbar. Click on it and you will see the settings option. The most important setting here is the dimensions. For example, if I want six clients on my desktop, I set this setting to three by two. However, this does not force the size of the clients to a smaller one. So you would have to test how many clients you can actually fit in your desktop. Once you're ready, just drag a window using the left click and Right after you start dragging, use the right click and keep it pressed to choose the space in which you want to put the client in. 
Release after you find a spot and repeat this with other clients. If for some reason you want to fit more clients in one desktop and your resolution scaling is already at 100%, you might need to force a higher resolution. In my case, I got an NVIDIA RTX 280 Ti graphics card that comes with a control panel that allows custom resolutions. The GTX series also allows this and if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, check your graphics panel to see if you find a similar feature. I must warn that you must be careful doing this. Because of the risk of breaking your display, I cannot make a video on how I set up mine. However, I have done this on my Alienware AW3420DW monitor and a Pavilion 32Q monitor. Both of them tested on an RTX 280 Ti and also on a GTX 1070 Ti. And these are still working fine. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching this episode and please check the description to join all my platforms. Also, if the video helped you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel with the notifications. See you guys soon. Alright, if this one's real, this is sick. If this is real, this is sick. I mean, his name is Raul the Pro Raul L. Producer, bro. Raul L. Producer, bro. So I, I believe it. This is not fake. He's got the, the Japanese writing on the wall, so you know he's, like, into, like... Like, you know he smokes weed when he's into, like, doing LSD and shit. Um, this man's a fucking musician, producer. You know he's fucking clean as fuck, super organized, a lunar type. I mean, I don't know where your keyboard and shit is, but bro, this is a nice setup. One monitor, though? One monitor, though? Ugh. I don't know about that one, homie. You've got I know you're a producer, but bro, you got to get more than one monitor, homie. Like, come on. What do you, what do you even do with one monitor? Like, okay, who has one monitor? I like your setup, but who the fuck only has one monitor in 20 fucking 20, dude? You're Puerto Rican. Maybe that's why you have one monitor. It's because in Puerto Rico, the, you know, the import, the, the, it's probably very expensive to import a monitor. So it's probably, that monitor is probably like three grand. I don't know, bro. One monitor. That's the only thing that, that fucks with me, dude. It's like, I, how do you get any work done? It, I, that's crazy. Like, cause I always have to open up a million tabs and you know what I'm saying? Like I got my, what I'm doing right here. I got another tab right here. Motherfucking ass Twitter. I got of Call of Duty, you know, like, I don't know, but, hey, good setup, but, you know, another monitor, bro, that's like, they're like 50 bucks at Walmart, you know, no big deal.